Hello. Um, it's been a bit of a central topic throughout most of the, the Visiting Science Day, but we should know by now that we have um, increasing CO2 concentrations in the atmosphere. And the increasing CO2 is causing, um, first and foremost, an increase in temperature. This is a, an output from a model showing, um, with business as usual, in 100 years we'll get about 7 degrees uh, warming at the poles and around 2 to 3 um, at, near the equator. Now, this is causing a lot of um, different effects. There's changing weather patterns, there's melting of the poles, there's rising sea levels. And so there's a lot of adverse effects following this climate change. The question is, is this inevitable? Are we going to have this climate change um, with the atmosphere, uh, the increase in the CO2? And it's not necessarily inevitable. There are uh, options, for example, with geoengineering or uh, net, uh, net emission, negative emission technologies. You can, we can temper the increase in CO2 and there's also the change in temperature. And there's a wide range of potential methods you can use to temper the CO2. Uh, one of the most promising is the enhanced weathering, which basically means that if you go and you dissolve or weather um, silicate minerals, you will increase the alkalinity of the ocean. If you increase the alkalinity of the ocean, what will happen is that more CO2 will be taken up from the atmosphere and will be sequestered in the ocean. Now, what's a very important um, parameter for this silicate weathering is basically the pH. If you go to lower pH in city conditions, this weathering will be more efficient and much faster. And this is where um, part of my PhD topic came in uh, very interesting, which is basically cable bacteria. Cable bacteria are long uh, filaments, multicellular filaments, they grow up, uh, up to several centimeters, they conduct electrons. But what's important is that their metabolism splits apart two redox reactions over several centimeters. And one of those redox reactions is the oxidation of sulfide, which is a reaction that produces a lot of protons. It creates a very acidic environment in the sediment. So, a question that arises then is, can we use this natural phenomenon, can we use cable bacterium to enhance or stimulate silicate weather? And so, to test this idea, we went to the field, we went to Ratakai in the Netherlands, we took a bunch of sediment home, we mixed it with um, silicate minerals, and we incubated them in tanks. It's a very simple experiment, um, and we basically, followed, over time, we followed the evolution of the geochemistry. And so at the start of the incubations, you see this is standard what you find in, uh, in, in sediments is that you have a shallow oxygen penetration, there's a rapid accumulation of sulfide, which is the, the blue points, and the pH is around 7 throughout most of the sediments, sometimes slightly lower. After a few weeks, we can see that the cable bacteria are de developing and they grow their typical geochemical profile, which is that the separation between the blue, the sulfide, and the red, the oxygen, and also the pH has decreased to values lower than 6, so a relatively acidic environment for a, for a marine sediment. And so this also shows that the presence of silicate uh, minerals will not affect the development of the cable bacteria. Now the question was not, uh, the question was whether this will um, increase the silicate weathering. And so you see that over time, the flux, so the amount of silica that is removed from the sediment and that accumulates in the overlying water, is much higher in the green points, which is the treatment where we added more uh, silicate than in the, all the other colors. The black one being the one where we didn't add the silicate minerals. So it's clearly the silicate is being dissolved in the sediment when the cable bacteria are active. We also see, and this is very important, is that the alkalinity in the 20% treatment in the poor water becomes higher, um, which will lead to an efflux, and high efflux of alkalinity into the overlying water, which will, in effect, be then, which will lead to enhanced dissolution of atmospheric CO2 in the, in the overlying water. And indeed, when you look at the uh, CO2 concentration in the overlying water, most of the treatments show a higher dissolved CO2 concentration in the overlying water when compared to the control treatment. Which is quite exciting, which means that we can actually use a natural phenomenon, uh, the presence of cable bacteria, which you find pretty much everywhere on the globe. Um, uh, you can use this to enhance the silicate weathering, which you can use cable bacteria to decrease the CO2 of the atmosphere.
Thank you.